Gotta make sure the lighting is good in here. Can't have too much or too little. Lighting's the one thing that makes me look pretty. Alrighty, let's do this. What's up, everybody? Uh, today we're gonna go over portfolio reviews. I had created a post two weeks ago or a week ago on the YouTube community post page thing uh, that said if you wanted to get your work reviewed um, or your portfolio reviewed, you can go ahead and send me a link. There is a Google form. I, I wanna say since yesterday, I stopped accepting submissions, so we are gonna go over the eight responses that we received. No lie, I thought it was gonna be way more a little disappointed in that, but it's completely fine. Um, the cool thing, which I didn't mention, um, first place is going to get a $25 gift card as well as a $50 donation to a choice of charity. Uh, so they can pick the charity and I'll go ahead and uh, donate $50 from the YouTube channel. And uh, don't know who the winner is yet, right? I haven't reviewed all of them. I want to say I opened one or two, uh, but then I closed them because I'm like, ah, I want to get, you know, realistic reactions. Also, if I bash your site or say you're awful, don't get offended. Um, yeah, and just take everything with a, a bit of a grain of salt or a bit of a grain of salt. Take everything with a grain of salt. Let's go ahead and jump. I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm wasting time. I'm gonna give every site two minutes because I don't want this to go on forever. So you got two minutes to, um, you know, see all the feedback. I'm not gonna start it until I open the site. So the very first site we have is from Brendan Silvers. A little about you. Um, he's a UX designer currently studying product design at Stanford University. What? Stanford? Okay. Just trying to make some good changes while I'm here. Stanford University. I mean, wow, dude. Can't believe I have a viewer from Stanford, but um, nice. Anyway, so silvers.design is your website. I think I opened this one, I want to say a week ago, and then I closed it because you know, I want to get real reactions. So let's go ahead and go there. Nice. I think it was a different color and different image here the first time I saw it, but I had to close it. But nice, uh, nice, nice. I do like this little dude. I like the animations. I feel like they're a bit too. Ooh, I didn't start. Two minutes. I feel like they're a bit um a bit too slow, right? To finish loading until the site's done. Um, I feel like you could probably change the duration and the easing a little. But I do, I do like the the sort the sort of look of this. Um, I feel like it. It, it's almost there, right? I feel like it's not 100% polished. I don't necessarily need drop shadows. I don't like drop shadows here. Um, and I feel like the way you lay out the work can be a bit better. And looking at this, you did work for Jaws or Size. Holy shit, nice. Uh, Jaws or Size is that ridiculous jaw. I, I shouldn't say ridiculous. Their ads are ridiculous. Uh, the dude, he's like, you know, biting and he's doing his little neck shit. I think it's pretty silly. Maybe I need one. Maybe I need to tone my jaw. My jaw is pretty fat. Not jaw, but face. Um, I'm a UX product designer who creates bold visual identities, focuses on users and code. Nice. And you've got a little dark mode. I like that. That's pretty That's pretty neat. Um, let's check out your... Not the biggest fan of the hamburger menu, right? But if this is your style, stick with it. You know, you're a designer yourself. Um, you did this on purpose. Uh, not, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Cool. Um, your designer, tenacious developer, original. You are original, right? I haven't seen this design really anywhere else, and it's pretty unique. I I would change the hamburger menu. Not the biggest fan, but I already mentioned that. Cool. Uh, let's go to your work real quick. We've got 20 seconds on the clock. Jaws or size? See, I mean, this is the type of shit that you need on your resume. You need to have your work laid out and you need to have a you know background and description and over here he has his process uh, just general information regarding the application this can really help you in landing a job and this is actually pretty neat um, the way you have your work laid out and the description and everything this is a 10 out of 10 uh, great job here I, I do love it a lot so we've reached the end um, I do like your to sum it up I do like your portfolio a lot um, I think you've got a lot of uh, potential I would just kind of uh, play around with the the intro animations a little bit. Um, I feel like they might be a little too slow, but if that's your thing, you know, do you. All in all, the only major thing I would do is just kind of change the hamburger menu, but uh, do you, man. Um, you've got great work, you've got great potential, Jaws or Sizes, uh, that, that application is, is looking neat. Let's move on. Uh, then we have Kareem 
Kutuk. Uh, if I mispronounce your name, sorry. Let's put two minutes on the clock. Uh, let's get your stuff opened. Okay, so you've got pretty neat, um, you know, animations uh, coming in right off the jump. I want to say that it's looking at it, it's, it feels blank. It doesn't feel like there's much going on here, especially with this huge empty white space. I just needed to check if I was recording. Um, yeah, it's, pr it's pretty blank. Uh, you, if we scroll down, so I'm a software engineer who has passion about combining clean code with attractive design. I'm also a master student at Chicago State. Nice, master. You used Gatsby, that's good. Uh, services, development, development UX, UI, UI design, digital design, feature projects. I would kind of change how this is laid out. I'm not the biggest fan of the way it's laid out, but um, you know, if it's you. Uh, blog posts. Cool. I mean, you've got blog posts, right? That's good. It kind of shows employers that, you know, uh, you kind of know what you're talking about and you're kind of helping the community out. You use the web flow for your, your restaurant website. Let's open this in a new tab. Cool. Yeah, looking at it, I feel like, again, the potential is there and the idea is there. But in terms of execution and it, it seems like you don't necessarily have a, a layout or like a grid laid out here. You kind of just see you know, this is on the left. This is centered but then this doesn't align with anything here I mean you've got a container right if we look at where the mouse is you've got a container laid out but it just feels a bit empty it feels a bit blank and I and I think this it just needs to be something here if you're not going to have anything here then you kind of need to make your text a bit wider and larger let's go to the about section hey I'm Kareem sell top you live in Chicago nice um, I would look at content. Be aware of content. Uh, self-taught. It should be self-taught. Um, master student, university of experience, and yeah, single page. You just need to fix that. Um, man, two minutes is quick. It's not enough time. Stop. Uh, we'll give you a little bit more time. Uh, running, traveling, yada yada yada. Nice. Okay. Cool. Neat man. Projects. You got the restaurant. Little break. You got a lights out game. Ooh. You know, I gotta play the game. Used Webflow. Um, yeah, I mean, so your typical, it's a pretty neat uh, design in terms of a restaurant. Cool, I would I would look at, you know, why this is causing so much padding or height when it's empty. Oh, so this is, okay, this is just kind of, okay, it's a lower website, so it's just kind of a, like a show off website. Sweet, man, uh, good job on that one. Uh, lights out, how do you play this? This is a game called Lights Out. You need to try to close all the lights on the board to win the game. I did this project by using React Access. Close all the lights out? What do you mean close all the lights out? Am I turning the lights off or on? Because my camera died. I forgot to press pause. This is a fucking mess. Um. I can cuss because we're past the two minute mark on YouTube. So next up we have Alex. He's a French student, front end freelance front end developer. Um, and what's up with the French real quick? You guys always have the best websites and the best designs, I swear. I don't remember looking at yours. I think I did, but I'm sure it's gonna be good because you are French. I'm self-taught web developer and I really like to have your feedback on that work. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I saw this one. I think you were one of the early early ones. Can I switch? Yeah. Folio photo folio. Doesn't even translate. That's weird. I saw yours early on, but then I I exited out. I didn't look at your work. Um, nice man. This is this is badass, right? Uh, when you hover, it shows you a glimpse of the work, and you've got a little about section, and then all your links. Cool. Masse Studio. Damn. Look at that page transition. Look at that page transition. Good shit, man. Uh, I like the way you laid out your work. You've got, you know, your title, um, and then see the you link to the websites, and then you've got a description, sort of your role, and then the images. Yeah, I mean, you obviously know what you're doing. Look at this shit. This is good. Uh, the design is amazing. I really love this sort of design as well. Uh, very popular. One thing I would say, which I hope it's not like some of the rest of the site is the quality of the images. Uh, they're a bit pixelated, 
So see if you can find higher res images and then probably use, you know, images loaded if you're worried about load time or use kind of like progressive image loading to where you load a lower quality image and then once the site's done loading, you load a higher quality image. Uh, simply because when you're displaying images, you do, you do want the highest quality, but this is awesome and the designs are great. Um, let's go back, we're almost times up in here. Follow your photo. Yeah, page transitions are awesome, good job. Yeah, so I mean, it's like this for all of your, you know, the rest of your work and I like it a lot. Again, looking at the quality, it's pretty pixelated. Um, yeah, just look at probably, you know, putting higher quality images. Uh, all in all, this is an awesome website though. I really, really like this one. Uh, one thing I would add is the particles in the background. Not the biggest fan of that. I feel like they're a bit outdated. Um, so I, I would say look into possibly, you know, changing that. If that's your thing and you like it, you know, stick with that, hell yeah. But I love the transitions on this. Nice. Yeah, I mean, this is exceptional. I love this. I love it a lot, man. Great job, Alex. Uh, moving on next, we have Cortin. Uh, I think you're French. I'm a web front end developer and I'm trying to learn every day. Okay, uh, I'm learning web since September 2019. Okay, so you're pretty new. Uh, starting with React and Firebase, GSAP3, and Fair Motion. Awesome stack with your late with your last video. Thanks, man. I love when people say that they are learning something from my work. It really feels like I'm adding some sort of value. Cool. I do like, yeah, I like this. Um, nice. I feel like though, this since this is the very first thing you see, you do want to have some information about yourself, right? Whether that's like a little blurb about yourself or something, or, you know, showing off your works, like a list of your works, rather than, you know, a sphere and then about projects. Um, I feel like there's, there's just missed opportunity here. Uh, Cause some people might just jump on your site and then jump out or jump and then forget about it. And I feel like if you have just some sort of information to capture that person, that'd be really cool. Uh, let's go to your about real quick. About show. Oh, okay, show is sold down, nice. Uh, I don't know how to see your name. I want to say Courtois, but that doesn't make sense. Courtin, uh, that's a long name. Uh, so you're a developer. I don't know what that is. I'm a French developer, passionate photographer, sports, computer science. I started programming at 11. My first project was Java project, uh, console computer or console at any computer. I was, uh, I was continued at creates some plugins for Minecraft servers. Um, and I was continued. Am I saying this right? I was continued with web programmation. Uh, you've got uh, your your list of things that you use: GSAP, Motion, Fair Motion, React, JavaScript, Firebase. Nice, cool little about section. I would say see if you could do something about your image. Um, it kind of it's just floating there. It just feels like it's just right there, right? I feel like you can maybe combine something with the background or kind of have like a, a full image rather than like a PNG because it feels a bit awkward how it gets cut off here as well and then it gets cut off. Um, but you're not a designer, right? Or I don't think you're a designer or you're trying to be. I don't, I know you're a front-end developer. I mean, in terms of the site, it works, right? Um, I feel like the design can be a bit, uh, you know, you could work on it a bit more. Uh, but if that's not your, your entire goal, then that's fine. But I can see you use GSAP and React, or I don't know if you use React. Yeah, you did. Um, and Netlify as your hosting provider, but yeah. cool, man. Um, I feel like you can display your work a lot better. I I don't know what to do with this as an individual, right? I look at this and I'm like, I don't know what this is. Yeah. You know, like in terms of description, in terms of uh, better imagery, in terms of like showing multiple images of your work can be a bit better. And I would rely, I would, you know, get off of the mock trend where you, you you put stuff on mocks a lot um, you can do it here and there but if that's all you got then i i don't necessarily like that too much um, all in all a uh, cool site i think that the potential is there i think if you keep going you can have something really really nice um, in terms of the design i feel like um, there can be just a bit more to it if that makes sense uh next is why do you guys all have hard names wreck wreck chan wreck chan sahu Front end or freelance UI UX designer and UI developer. This is current portfolio. I'm working on a new one. Nice. It's always good to work on new ones. Do I have anything here that I need to hide from you guys? Anything inappropriate? No. 
we don't do that stuff. Um, woo, nice. Right, nice little intro animation, pretty simple, subtle. You know, you've got a great font here. I'm thinking it's Avenir. Uh, if, I'm, if it's not, then I'm embarrassing. Futura, of course it's... Uh, you've got your work. And this is what I was mentioning um, from the last guy. I think you're Corton, if you're saying it right. This is what I'm mentioning, right? He's, he's got a little, um, you know, information, a little description about him. Hello, I'm Rek Chand, and I'm a self-taught UI UX designer, friend of the work. He kind of gives him a little about himself, and then he also has his work laid out. I don't need to go to, you know, to the work section or the about section to figure out more about him. Um, which is pretty neat. Cool. So you got your change theme. I'm guessing dark mode, light mode. Nice. Um, you have a easing effect on the background, but you don't have it on the header. You can see when you change the header, it's instant. I would say look at uh, combining the two. I keep forgetting the two minute timer. This is a, f this is a mess. Okay, no more about me. You got cool. Hey! Who's that? Who is this? Hell yeah, dude. Thanks, man. I love that. Uh, UI UX designer based in Raipur. Where is that? I don't know what this is. India. Oh, that's cool. Nice, man. I have a passion for creating user experience, seamless understanding, human experience, design, essential, I create. In my past jobs, I worked at uh, Klubik Software. I was a part of the designing 20 websites. Nice. I enjoy watching YouTube videos and editing websites, and I learned a lot from the future code grid, Kaylor Edwards at Ron uh, Norman, no, what's that? Norman Neiman's group or something? I forgot. Nelson Neiman or something. I don't know. Uh, Jesse Showalter. I like Jesse. And design course. Let's design course. Oh, this dude. Um, and many more. And I spare time my Android football EDM rock EDM. Hit me up, man. We can talk about some music. Music with FL Studio. I used to use FL Studio. Neat, man. Obviously, I mean the highlight of this about me is this, right? Ah, uh, this dude. Beautiful. Awesome, man. This is this is really cool. You know, this is a good description about yourself. Um, <clears throat> all in all, it's neat. Let's look at your work real quick because I'm spending too much time here, and it's not fair for everybody else. So you did a POS system. Again, this is the shit I'm talking about, similar to that Jaws or Size uh, Stanford University dude. Wow, I am not remembering your names. Brendan. Brandon, Brendan. Uh, similar to that, I mean, you, you're laying out your work and you're describing, I guess that link doesn't work. You're describing what's going on and that's awesome. Let's go look at this one and then we'll get off. Yeah, I mean, this shit will get you hired. Easily. Great job, man. I keep hitting stuff. Great job. I love this site a lot. Um, cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. Okay. Um, Raheem. Raheem Bailey. Uh, recent bootcamp grad. Would love to do agency work at this at the level that you do it. Eh, I want to say I'm that good. Currently working to turn React Hamburger Mini to turn into a full stack marketing agency portfolio for portfolio. <coughs> All right, let's refresh that one more time. Okay. So one thing I could tell right off the jump is you kind of have that white flashing background. I guess it doesn't do it anymore, but I would say um, figure out how you can wait until everything should be, or until the full size loaded, until you load everything else to prevent that flash. Let's look at your tool belt. I've never heard anybody say a tool belt. That's pretty funny. Uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, SAS, React, uh, Express, Node, Git. Um, am I wrong? So GitHub and Git, okay. Uh, or Git Bash, okay. And then GSAP, my work. Yeah. So, I mean, you did say you're still learning and, and I mean, that's good. Uh, your recent bootcamp grad. Cool, man. Uh, projects. <clears throat> oh, okay. So there's no pages, just like taking it here. Let's look at your project real quick. View, watch demo video. I don't want to watch a video. Hello there. I'd like to introduce you to my app, Emotionally. 
an app that I built to provide resources, journaling, and tracking tools to anybody experiencing negative emotional states. And debunks. But as users scroll through, I forgot to put the two minute timer on. They're served up three resources from the note server. All right, I get it. Cool, man. Um, I've never seen anybody break down their 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 work like that, but maybe that's something new they you know more people should should do. Um, in terms of the website, it works and it's good. I feel like the design could be a bit more, um, but you are front end focused, full stack capable, not necessarily design uh, driven or not necessarily you know too much of a design, but. Yeah, I mean, I think this is neat. I think you've, you've got definitely a lot of potential, and if you keep working, you can easily become or stand out. Um, for sure. Absolutely, man. Good job. Let's look at um, Cap Kaplan. These names, man. Give me an easy name like Josh or Akram. Um, web developer from Toronto. Love your work. Oh, love working with. No. I'm such. I'm so. I need to edit that out because I read, I lo love your work. I'm such a, I'm, ugh, I hate myself. I need to be a bit more humble. Cool, man, you got particles in the back, like the last person. So I'm Cap, I build stuff on the web. I am a web developer, Toronto, who builds design web application interactive, learn about me. I feel like after this video, everyone's gonna hate me because I am a bit of a jerk. Junior software. Technical marketing designer. Nice. Uh, REST API. Cool. I mean, looking at your projects, you got a REST API, you got a Socket.io ch chat app, you got a Python Django app. Uh, looking at it from my perspective, technically you're you're pretty you're pretty good, right? You're really good in terms of knowing what you're doing on the coding side. In terms of the design, unfortunately, not unfortunately, but in terms of the design, I feel like you could use a, a bit more. Um, definitely check out more work. Um, you know, seeing what makes good design, just learning about uh, color theory, all that stuff, because like the blue and the red and the orange just eh, um, doesn't really fit all that much. Let's look at your chat app. Technical junior web developer. Yeah, I mean, the site works, right? Um, did you mention design? I feel like I'm grading you on design, I didn't even. Web developer. Yeah, you're a web developer. So what am I saying about your design? Who cares about that? Um, I joined the marketing department at Shop Your Own Mortgage, where I work with a great team. Degree from York University. Nice. HTML, CSS, MySQL, WordPress, marketing experience. Cool. I guess we abandoned the two minute timer. We don't, we don't do that. Sorry for the er, earlier uh, people who got two minute timers. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, it's there, right? You got your work. I feel like the design could be a bit enhanced, but you're not worried too much about design, which is fine. Um, all in all, in terms of work, great job. I, I do like the projects you worked on. I would say, I don't, I don't enjoy it. Yeah, I would say, I mean, if you just kind of focus on Um, I really don't have anything for you, but if you just kind of focus on maybe more projects that aren't necessarily uh, one of those projects that are just everywhere, like there's chat apps everywhere, and I feel like because there's a lot of tutorials regarding chat apps, I feel like if you do something a bit unique, um, it kind of help you stand out. But all in all, uh, great job, man. Last but not least, we have Fahad Kiani. Kiani, hey, wrong. Okay, I need to clear something. My name is not wrong. Right, I feel like a lot of people message me saying "Hey, wrong" or "Good stuff, wrong." My name is Akram. I have wrong Akram because I'm typically wrong about things, and it's fine to be wrong. And I'm learning. So I built this site based on your video for the portfolio site you built. I enjoy watching your videos; they inspire me. I'm a web designer and a DJ. I'm a freelance for I'm a freelancer for clients and helping them reach tech projects. I would love your feedback on my site or get reviewed for sure. You have Nutella on your name, that's pretty cool. Hello world. I like to inspire, play good music. Uh, Sunny Kitchen, my latest projects. F2 
Nice. So the, all in all, the website's pretty clean. That's cool. I feel like it's a bit too blank. You'll get websites where they are very minimal and clean, but then they still seem to... You know, they have enough white space. I feel like for you, you have too much white space. Um, and that's just the design related, but you are a software engineer and not really too focused on design, which I should grade you on other things other than that. FJK. That's a good ass beard. My shit is sloppy. Um, specializations, delivering customers, web model applications. Small influencers, city of New York, under the hood, JavaScript, Java, C++. Nice, man. DJK. Lights by DJK. Joy Beats. Coming soon. The Hero Shop. Pakistan, Universal. Nice. Yeah, I mean, you you clearly have your have the, you know your work laid out pretty nicely. Um, I would say, it, I mean, it works and that's your thing, but I would say the design isn't. It's a bit old school, I want to say. You know, with like the lettering and like for example. Well, I guess the images are just a bit old school. I would look at, I mean, it's very simple to enhance this. I would just look at, you know, layouts and different grids. What, 19 minutes, I'm on like, yeah, okay. Um, I would just look at, you know, just general layouts and, and grids and how you can kind of structure these a bit better rather than have them centered um, and just down the middle. And they're not even centered, they're kind of a little to the left, but that's fine. Um, cool stuff, man. I feel like you're, you'll be a pretty cool dude to hang out with. Should I even have said that? Uh, I'm um, guessing this is like COVID results, Brave Souls fighting. Yeah, it's tough, man. Okay, that's it, right? Yeah. So that's all. If I missed you, I'm sure I didn't miss you. But if I had to pick a winner or a clear cut winner, it's I'm going to I'm going to pull up the ones I, I enjoyed the most. All right. Um, I really like Brendan's. Um, Alex's was really good as well. Um, Corten, Rekshand, um, what was yours? Oh yeah, this one's good. Oh man, this is gonna be, uh, Raheem, Bailey, no, Cap. Yeah, okay. So these three are the clear cut, you know, top three. I'm gonna name, uh, first place, second place, third place. For, unfortunately, second and third place, you guys don't get anything. Um, maybe in future reviews we will, but, if I had to pick, honestly, third place would go to, third place would go to Brendan. Uh, you've got your work nicely laid out and talked about in terms of the website. I feel like your style and the idea is there, but it, it just, you know, you've, you've got to just kind of clean it up a little. Um, I would, you know, move this down a bit, not make it so close to the header, bring it down a little bit, uh, organize the work. Um, a little bit better rather than being centered with so much space in between. Um, all in all, I mean, I did enjoy your job size app, really good stuff. But third place is where you gonna be. Next, we've got Alexander and Rekchand. Rekchand. This one's tough, man. This one's tough. I like both of yours a lot. I love the way you laid it out. I mean, Rekchand, you've clearly got. You clearly have an understanding of, of um, negative space, like white space, as well as like margins, and you've got a you know, light and dark theme. You've clearly, you know, understand principles of design, and that's awesome. Um, but for Alexander, I mean, I the way the designs and, and, the, and the work, right? The work also is, is really nicely put together. Um, I'm the winner the winner is gonna be Alex Alexander you got first place I do believe your your portfolio is the nicest one and I really really like it a lot your works nice everything looks good Rekshan don't feel disappointed I mean you're right there you guys both have really unique portfolios and it's awesome I would say Rekshan yours is a, a bit more cleaner but in terms of that wow factor or you know that coolness um, 
Alexander does take it. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. This was an absolute sort of unorganized portfolio review. Reviewed eight sites, one winner. Alexander, if you're watching this, I'm also going to see if I can get your email and email you. You are the winner. You get a $25 gift card as well as a $50 donation to a charity of your choice. So get in touch with me. I will add you or email you and I'll add you on you know, Discord just so we can make sure and I'll give you screenshots and everything because I am not a scammer. So that's gonna do it. Have a wonderful day, guys. Please be safe out there. Take care of yourselves.